Honey is gross. Think about it. Honey comes directly from a bee's stomach. It is regurgitated something like four times and spit out on around something like 50 times. Then we also come to the reason that bees are disappearing. If you bring up because um, bee keepers take 100% of all the honey today and replace it with high fructose corn syrup. So, no wonder if you ask me that bees are disappearing. Also, honey is most likely one of the most unhealthy foods you can ever imagine. It has animal protein, unhealthy sugars, and it has fat. An animal protein is proved to create cancer in humans. If you not believe me, check out Dr. Miko Gregor or check out uh, Dr. John Maduco. In contrary with popular opinions, honey is absolutely no health food. The essence in bee vomit or honey actually is far more toxic for humans than cane sugar and other processed sugars. When humans eat honey, it immediately begins to reabsorb moisture from the stomach and stomach floor. It destroys our symbiotic bacterial population wholesale. In humans, honey, more so than cane and beet sugar, is acid forming and decalcifying. The body draws calcium from its teeth and bones, if necessary, to neutralize the acids introduced and formed. The mannite acid of honey is a protoplasmic poison. It interacts with protein and from this forms alcohol, ammonia, and carbonic acid. It's most likely one of the most great marketing schemes ever performed. Also, the cruelty that uh, this practice also caused to bees are very complex critters. It's terrifying, not the least. The bees only give honey when there is a bee queen present. So, these beekeepers uh, cut off the wings of the queen bee when she of our rights and buy, uh, buy them from an insect breeder also. So that the queen bee not can be escaped. Then one meal bee is crushed and so that some of the keepers can take a little bit of the semen from the male bee, and that uh, is then forcefully injected inside the queen bee. I want you to you imagine that somebody take your way of transportation away, that somebody cut your feet up so that you not can move, take your hands or take some of your fingers. How do you feel? They do that to you. Uh, bees are also not stupid. They are on the top of their evolutionary tray. If the colony of bees have find one um, bunch of delicious flowers, they do actually some dance. And in that dance, they actually told the other bees of the colony where, in which direction, the bees uh, have find the delicious flowers that I want to make honey from or so have I first explained bivot they're retrograded and then it's they're spit it out in their when they're retrograded then they're placed in their stomach for the beekeepers call it the bee stomach but yeah it is still a stomach no matter how you talk around it. And then they spit it out. So actually your honey is beef vomit. 
since you are not one to eat most likely uh, the vomit of your husband or girlfriends or your wife a large amount of the beekeepers particular the commercial beekeepers kill off their hives before the winter for commercial reasons with uh, gas why then it's the vomit of an insect seems pretty disgusting to me and seems to me like a fetish <laughs> a sick fetish for vomit when darkness and light become one, the reality is splintered away and the truth become visible. Stop eating honey of bees. And if you want to still eat something with the same structure and uh, taste as honey, you can uh, eat rice uh, based honey. That's honey made from rice, not from the stomach of a bee. <laughs> Or you can eat uh, a darky nectar. I have some links in the description below if you want to check that out. Maybe some of the links in the description of the products you can now find in your supermarket. And if you, and if you are a redneck, how say, who cares? About the bees. We are in a time of footage! And I have a new flash for you. If the bees disappear, the whole ecosystem collapses. If the pollinators disappear, like bees and butterflies. But. If you take away. The great mighty human, our species, any species on this whole planet will praise the virus that killed our species off. This is not my opinion, it is a cold hard fact. We are the reason of the sixth mass extinction. So how can we claim that other species are destroying environments when we are the main reason that are any year more than a thousand species disappear. In all the times, yes there are some animals are dying over the years. Uh, actually 20 in a year, more than thousands species die this time and age. We are destroying our host, our mother, the planet Earth, by our selfish, elitist, first world Nazi lifestyle. Our words are maybe harsh, controversial, even maybe to some of you. But people who consume meat, dairy, and eggs and honey are the main cost of this. Because 50% of all the food on the world health resources by people is feed to livestock as a low conservative estimate. 51% of the greenhouse gas emissions come from animal husbandry or slavery. 91% according to the World Bank 91% of the rainforest is cut for animal husbandry or slavery around the world there are something like 500 hypopric nitrate field death zones the main reason is because worldwide over 4 months of uh, 4,000 trillion of shit is produced by all these animals that we enslave. Or how I to correct, 
because I am not responsible for that. Because I am don't consume those very products. Body parts, secretions, vomit, hands, periods, also comes eggs. Meat dairy and eggs do not belong to you. The milk of one cow is made for her baby. Just like breastfeeding of your species is made for your species baby. Just like you own meat is the only meat your body use when it builds a break off uh, some of your organs and replace that uh, by a process that's being called um, proton reabsorption. That's the reason, that's the place where you get most of your protein from. Technically, your own, your own body cannibalized himself. And any, something more like, every three months, I, oh, I think it was uh, any three months, you have a completely uh, new lever. Other organs are also replacements on the sometimes. Sparta, not more than a couple of years. Peace begins on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily basis. Go vegan. That's an excuse for casting a least amount of power on this planet.